This question belongs to data structure subject and was asked in GATE 1990. It basically belongs to binary trees topic. So the question states the total external path length EPL of a binary tree with n external nodes. Here n is the number of external nodes. Is it is defined as EPL equals to sigma, which means summation of over all the nodes W and IW, where IW is the path length of the external node W. Then it is less than equal to n square always, greater than equal to n log n always, equal to n square always, order of ones for some special cases. Let me explain you with this with an example. So suppose we have a tree like this. Then what is an external node and what is an internal node? It has n external node. So external node means leaf node. Leaf node is a degree, zero degree node. Which means it has no child. No child. No child. So which all nodes are no child? This node, this node, and this node. All are zero degree nodes, which means all are leaf nodes, which means all are external nodes. So we have n external nodes. So what's the value of n here? And here's the value 3. And what is the non-leaf nodes? Non-leaf nodes. What are the non-leaf nodes? Non-leaf nodes are this one and this one, 2. And what are total nodes? Total nodes are 3 plus 2, which is 5. Now let us see what is it saying. EPL is defined as external path length, which means it is summation of all the path length of all the external nodes. So path length means number of edges that we need to traverse to go to that node. Suppose if we want to come to this node, then we have to traverse just one edge. So it is path length 1. If we want to come to this node, then we have to travel two edges, this one and this one. So it is path length 2. If we want to come to this node, then we have to travel two edges, this one and this one. So it is path length 2. So EPL is 5. So we have to tell what will be the value of EPL in the terms of n. n is the number of external nodes. So let me tell you how it can be done. So it says or less than equal to n square always. So to disprove this, let us take an example. Let us suppose we have a skewed tree. Skewed tree means all the child's internal nodes have one child and external and the leaf node has zero child. Suppose this is a skewed tree. What are the number of nodes, total nodes? Let us denote by it by capital N. It equals to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 are the total nodes. What are the external nodes? This one is the external node, one external node. What are the internal nodes? Let us denote it by IN, internal nodes. It are 1, 2, 3, 4, 4. Okay, now what we can do is that, suppose we are adding an extra node over here. So let us first see whether, what is the value of this condition, EPL. What is the EPL in this case? So EPL equals to summation of all the external nodes then. So the path length to reach this node is 1, 2, 3, 4, 4. Is it less than or equal to n square? What is the value of 1? 1 square 1. 4 is less than or equal to 1. It is failing. So here we can easily see that the value it is less than or equal to n square is always failing. And here also we can also assume like if we are adding another node like this then also, what is the value of external node? N value is 2. And what is the value of EPL? EPL will be 1, 2, 3, 4 for this and 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 for this. Which means EPL will be 8. And 8 is less than or equal to N square, 2 square, 4. This is also failing. So here we can see that this option is false. Now let us see option B. Option B is saying that EPL is always greater than or equal to n log n. So what is the meaning of EPN? EPN means the external nodes then. If you want to, for a given total number of nodes, if you want to minimize, if you want to maximize, or suppose it is lower bound. Suppose if we want to, we want to minimize EPN which means we want to minimize path length, which means IW for all the nodes, which means we should have 
complete binary tree or we can say full tree which means all the levels should be completely filled so let us take an example suppose this is a tree like this so we have all the full nodes which means the full we have a full binary tree which means all the nodes are completely filled now let us see what will be the value of epl so here what is the value of n n means number of external nodes it is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 it is 8 what is the number of internal nodes 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 it is always equal to for a full binary tree it is always equal to 2 n minus 1 and it is equal to n and what are the total nodes total node sorry this is not equal to 2 n minus 1 it is equal to n minus 1 as for n equals to 8 it is equal to 7 and total node equal to n plus n minus 1 which is equal to 2n minus 1. So this has been given to us. Now for a full binary tree, we know that the height is always equal to log n base 2. Now let us calculate the value of EPL. So what will be the EPL for this tree? EPL for this tree would be height log n, but there would be one less. Suppose here the height is 1, 2, 3, 4 height. What, what is the EPL to reach this node? 1 for this, 1 for this, 1 for this. Which means for one node it is log n, log base 2n minus 1. If this is the path length for one node. And for second node it would be same log n base 2 minus 1 for this one. And it will continue for n nodes. So what will be the EPL for all the nodes? It will be equal to n into log n. Sorry, we have made a mistake over here. It will be capital N. N means the total number of nodes. It would be equal to capital N and then it will be same for all the N nodes. Log capital N. Log base to N capital N. And what is the value of capital N? Capital N value means total number of nodes. Total number of nodes equal to internal node plus external node, which is 2N minus 1. So let us put the value over here N into log base to 2n minus 1. So we see that the minimum EPL equals to this, which means EPL will be always greater than equal to n into log base to 2n minus 1. Just remember this, n is the total number of external nodes and n are the total number of nodes in the tree. And here we can prove this statement by, let us assume we are adding a skewness to this. Then if we are adding a skewness to this, then all these n minus 1 nodes will have path length equal to log base to 2n minus 1. And this one node will have path length equal to log base to 2n minus 1 plus 1. So it is definitely greater than equal to n log base to 2n minus 1. Thus this is true. Now let us see option C equal to n square always. This is false. As we have proved it, it can be greater than n square also. As when we take the skewed tree, let us suppose, let us take the skewed tree over here. Yeah, like this. So what is the value of n? n is the total number of external nodes, just one external node. What is the value of n? n means total number of nodes, 1, 2, 3, 4. What is the EPL? EPL is just for this node. 1, 2, 3. EPL is just 3. Whether it, is it and what is the value of n square? n square is 1. So EPL is not equal to n square. So this case fails. And option D says it is equal to order of n for some special cases. No, this is also false as we have proved in statement B that it is at min it can be n log n. So if it is n log n, then n log n is not equal to order of n. As it is just a linear time and it is linear time into logarithmic time. So this is also false. So the answer is option B, greater than equal to n log n always.